In today's video, we're opening the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Mega Tins to see if they really suck. What's up guys, we are back with another opening and this time it is the brand new 25th anniversary. What is the actual name of these Dueling Heroes tins? I think is what they're called. I will say right off the bat, they look pretty cool. I mean, Yugi Kaiba, I know there's classic, you know. Oh, Yugi Kaiba, I hate when they do that. I, remember when I grew up and loved Yugi Kaiba? Well, I hate them now, it's too much Yugi Kaiba. Well, that's most of the time in every tin, but there's legitimate complaints with this tin and people think that these legitimately suck, which I said legitimately twice, but guess what guys? We're gonna figure that out today. But before we get into it, we are giving away one of these tents. So whether you think it's, it's stupid or not, I mean, you get a free tent. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below, what is your opinion on these mega tents? Do they suck? Are they average? Or are they really good? Okay, we are gonna hop into it. I have not actually done a ton of research on them myself. I've heard a lot of complaints about there being too many secret rares, so the ratios are really hard to get. Like specific secret rares, I've heard complaints that some of the cool cards are not quarter century. I did hear that the Dark Magician Girl alternate art is not a quarter century, which if that's true, it's really kind of sad. I mean, I don't really get why it wouldn't be, but who knows? We'll figure that out as we go. But here, we're going to take a look. Here are some of the cards you can get in QCR. I also heard that you can pull the promos. So I don't know what that means. Like, they're not in the tins. So well, let's just, we'll go through it. So, Starred at Kaiba, uh, Blue Eyes. We have the Tomb Kingdom. Cool. If these are all QCRs, it's cool. Original art, DMG. Alternate art, XCs. I've never really liked the XYZ Dragon Cannon alternate art that much. I like the original a lot better. Red, yellow, and green gadget. We have Wing Karibo alternate art. That's pretty cool. Uh, you Bell, Honest, and more Honest. We've just got the Ghost reprint. Uh, the Cosmic Blazar Dragon or whatever. The something about Stardust guy, Excel Synchron from the Legendary Duelist 8. I don't know that card. I probably should. Or that one. I feel like that's an XCs card. I feel like both. That's, that's Utopia something, I think. Uh, boots, Phantom Boots, UFOs, I don't know what that is, then Pankratops and Boralode Alternate Art. Okay, so I know some of those cards that are on the... Okay, I thought there was only two packs for a second. I was like, wait, they're only doing two packs? Did I miss something? Also, shout out to Frontline Games, my local store, for letting us open some of their packs, and today we're going to be opening some as well. So I'm pretty excited to do that because this, this tin, whether it's been, you know, some people think it's bad, some people think it's good. There are some really cool old school, like, throwback cards in here that I'm excited to pull. This video is sponsored by... Whatnot. Whatnot is an awesome auction platform that I stream on very often, and I will be streaming again this Thursday, opening the brand new Mega 10 2024. And hopefully we will pull that blue eyes in QCR. We've also done really awesome streams in the past, like the search for the Stardust Ghost Rare last week, and many other things like opening every first edition box from LOB to AST. We've done a lot of crazy stuff on Whatnot, so make sure you guys go follow me there so you don't miss anything in the future, especially these Mega 10s this week. I will be streaming those at 5 p.m. Central on Thursday, Day. So if you guys come to that stream, you guys can win free Mega Tens. You guys can buy some of the Mega Tens, or you could simply just watch and enjoy the stream. And if you are a new user who's never been on Whatnot, you can click my link and get $15 free credit on your first purchase on Whatnot. So make sure you guys go find my profile, Ruxin34, by clicking the link, then bookmark my streams. I have three or four of them scheduled already that you guys can go ahead and bookmark so you don't miss them. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. Okay, three packs to start us off. Um, but you know what? Because there are so many, I mean, there, there's no promo, so let's just open all these up and get the packs out because why are we going to open every 10 if there's no promo to look at anyway let's just get the packs out which a thing that people are not a fan of is the no promos i mean everybody loves promos but there are promos but they're in the packs or something I, so that's kind of what i heard like you could pull tokens or something something weird like that uh very strange decision if that's the case but we'll get more into that as we get there all right i have removed all the packs which are very like metallic-y looking very shiny i mean very shiny they're reflecting everything which is kind of hard to deal with. Okay, let's see if we can pull something cool. So I haven't opened any of these packs yet. Obviously, this is our first opening. I usually don't look too far into it, but there's been so much discourse about these. I've seen some of it, heard some of it. Master Tal the Chanter. I think there's a QCR in every pack, I believe. So the Elemental Hero Shining Neo Swingman. Is this originally an Ultra? So it's a secret upgrade. That's pretty cool. Relinquish Anima. That's a pretty sick card. QCR Relinquish Anima. I like that. The Trap Tracks. Ultra rare. So you get how many ultras? Is that three ultras? Three ultras, one secret, one QCR. Okay, that's pretty cool. Double hooking, the origami, new world, and sword soul punishment. So you get five foils in each pack, which is kind of a lot of foils. So 15 per 10. Three QCRs, three secret rares, and nine ultra rares. Okay, so I uh, will link with Anima. Let's take a look at that. That's actually a pretty cool card. That's a nice QCR. Definitely somewhat usable because it's a level one monster, except for a token, which maybe we'll pull a token and see. 
if we can pull those in here. Next pack. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't love no promos, whatever they did with them in the packs, but I don't love no promos in the tins themselves. Like you should open the tin and get a promo or two or something like that. That's always fun. Getting a QCR every pack, kind of cool. Let's see if there's some good ones. Data. Okay, is that a little Naruto reference? We have the Nightmare Magician. That was a re that's yeah, that's a reprint of a core set recently. Salaman Great Grizel or Gazelle, okay. That one's interesting. Uh, Salaman Great any good anymore? I feel like they're not, right? So you can do four from the back on these. Okay, a few packs left. A few more packs. Can we pull? This is our th for our first ten, basically. I didn't I didn't really uh, do any sort of shuffling here. The small scuffle, Tirlament Alteran, Snake Eye Oak, Snake Eye Oak. I don't remember. This must be like a common or something because I don't remember this card. Snake Eye is big though. Parallel Exceed. This is a really good card because this card can what special summon itself? How again? Becomes level f and it becomes level four. It's a level eight, but it becomes level four. Yeah, it's pretty cool. If you link summon, yeah, you can special summon it. Yeah, so it allows you to like link climb pretty easily. Pretty strong card. I think I feel like it was on the ban list at some point. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe it was at two. I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe I'm getting it. I know it's a good card. I was getting it confused with the um, what's that link cross. That's what I was thinking of. That card got banned for like legitimately fully banned. Realm Resonance. We have the Lilla Wrath. That's an ultra. The Sinful Spoils of Subversion Snake Eye. And the Preda Plant, Ophrys Scorpio, QCR, all right, the Hornsaurus and Red Eye Soul, and then our comments. Okay, few packs in, let's see what we can get in this deck, so I think we can do four for the back, let's see if it works, and just get through the comments, Reinforce, Terra, Super Heavy Samurai, Infinite Antlion, Digijamming, Chaos Phantasm, Phantasm, Datara again, we have the Mind Castlin. Mind Castlin? This reminds me of that girl from season one. What was her name again? I can't remember. Number 15 gimmick puppet giant. <laughs> Why is a gimmick puppet a QCR? That's kind of strange. Um, I think there are 50 total QCRs, something like that. 50 total QCRs, like 100 secrets. So there's kind of a lot of secret rares. So far, the secrets have been pretty eh. I guess the Snake Eye card is probably pretty good. Nightmare Magician's not bad. I guess, Ele you know, they haven't been too bad. The Elemental Hero uh, Wingman guy is not too bad. Uh, I did For the Elemental Heroes, at least. The Giga Cannon, Sword Soul Punishment. How did I get here? Classic. Colorless. Man's Core of Smashing out a reprint. Nice. Greed Jar. Another uh, Jar of Greed. Alpha Summon. The number 62 Neo Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. This was a pretty good card in the set that it came in. So I think that's not too bad. Secret Rare. And a number 32 Shark Drake. Interesting. That's a Galactic Overlord card, I think. So pretty old. Uh, Pharaonic Advent and... The crazy Horus card. I'm never gonna be able to read that one. Okay, we're on. We're on our second ten. I think we're opening six tens today. So three. There's one, two, three. No, we're on our third ten because this is number four. Two, three, four from the back. Can we pull the Dark Magician Girls in here? Is QCR the regular art? Apparently, the other one's just a secret, which is kind of a bummer. But that's in here. The Blue Eyes SDK, obviously something we really want. That's gonna be a classic card that everybody wants in QCR. Finally got its print. We have a Nightmare Magician. No, okay, here's the Utopia Double. That's the one I wasn't sure about. Utopia Double. Okay, another QCR Utopia card. So, you know, pretty pretty well known for most people. Let's see, Banishing Trap Hole. What does that do? 1,500 less that Banish that monster face down. So it's kind of like Bottomless, but Bottomless destroys and banishes, which is kind of a weird effect. All right, not quite halfway through. Still looking. Still looking for the next big pull. Can we make the Blue Eyes White Dragon? Up here, Dow to Die, Get Here, Synchro Over Top, Greed Jar, Ruxit Special, Vanguard, Earthbound Prisoner, Ultra Rare, Snake Eye Oak, that's a secret. And an Honest, very cool to see the Honest get a QCR. I mean, it has a Ghost Rare reprint, so it's kind of, they love to do this with cards that just print all the rarities at once. They kind of did it with Utopia. They had like CR, Starlight Rare, uh, no, they didn't do Starlight, whatever the other thing was called, but they did like ulti all at the same time. So they really like to shove them all out at once. Pendulum, let's see if we can get that blue eyes today. If we can't, there will be more openings coming up, including Whatnot Thursday. If you guys want to grab some of this new set, I will be attempting to pull this uh, probably on YouTube as well. We have a fire recovery secret. And opening of the spirit gates, which apparently is a very good card right now. Uh, wait. It, Uriah? Wait, there's no way. There's Is that really a good... Playing, your, playing a, a sacred beast? Okay. Somebody told me that was a good card. Now I'm questioning it, but who knows? I could be missing. Maybe, maybe that's like meta now. You play uh, Sacred Beast. I doubt it, but 
Who knows? Let's let's get open the rest of the packs. Uh, one, two, three, four from the back. We have the Immortal Bushi, Rebirth, Gaia Blaze, Behemoth, Cyanet Circle, Realm Eulogy, Menadium, Ruxin Special, and Pass the Pearly, Shirley, Pearly Shirley, Loris Lady of Lament. That's an Ultra Gold Pride, Leon. Hello, Leon, and. Bahamut Shark. This is a Duel Link special from the water deck back in the day. Not that far back, but a couple years ago. Yeah, so I do remember that card. It's pretty classic. Not that crazy, though. Three, six. Okay, we're on to our fourth out of six, ten. These tens, by the way, if you do want to grab some of these, you guys can grab some um, from Sassy Auto. Uh, if you are local to, like, Clarksville, my area, you can go grab it frontline. If you want to buy them online, go check out Sassy Auto. My link's in the description. Get 5% off using my code. Okay. All right, how did I get here? Singer over top. Vanguard, New Frontier, Angelica's Angelic Ring. We have the, oh, Typhon got a reprint in here. That's pretty good. That's a really good card, Secret Rare. Oh, this one's sick. The Wing Karibo Alternate Art. That is one of the coolest ones we pulled yet. Very nice QCR. Looking good. Okay, we pulled some good cards so far. So Typhon's good. I mean, that was a really good pack. Typhon plus Wing Karibo. Keep in mind, by the way, when you see the prices on the screen, these are going to be pre-release prices. So they're not going to be completely accurate. When it turns Friday and everybody gets theirs for sale, they're probably going to go down for most of them. Sign at circuit, but we want to have something on the screen so you guys can relate with if you're watching it the day of. Ursartic, Mechanko, Secret Rare, and Trickstar Light Stage. That is... Trickstar? People still trickstarring it up? I feel like I haven't seen that in quite a while, but another another nice pack. Still two tins left, six packs. One, two, three, four from the back. Can we pull something big in this new mega tin opening? I would love to pull the Blue Eyes SDK art. That'd be awesome. Shatter Colorless Realm, Super Heavy Samurai, Moissanite, Ruxa Special Number Creation. That last common is so hard not to Ruxa Special. Imzity Glory of Horus. That's another Horus card. And the dark magician girl let's go qcr beautiful looking good this is not the alternate art unfortunately that one does not come in qcr apparently but this is a really sick pull the original art from mfc qcr first qcr for dark magician girl in general i think any art so very nice that is a good way to start our openings of the mega tens Five packs left. Can we get the SDK as well? This would be kind of a crazy 6-10 six, six, opening. 3-4 from the back. We have Jurassic Power. John in the Gravity. Kashira. Super Heavy Samurai. Infinite Antlion. Core of Chaos. Shell of Chaos. Mental Tuner. Hare the Sword. Makanko. That is OSP oh, Little Knight. I forgot what's in here. Nice secret. Oh, and Wake Up Your Elemental Hero QCR. I feel like we're pulling really good right now. Like, we're pulling a lot of really good cards. For what people were saying the ratios were, I think we're doing pretty well. Four packs left. Can we keep it up? Pull that blue eyes. One, two, three, four. Teller Knight. Ogdoatic. New World. Doomstar. We have Photon Time Stop. Digi Jamming. Loka Samsara. Tallow. Teller Knight. We have Token. Okay, here's the one people were talking about. So in certain packs, I'm glad we got this. It looks like you can pull a Token as your secret rare. So remember Dark Magician Girl, the alternate art only comes in secret rare. So if you're open for that, the only chance you get is in this slot and instead you can get a token. Now I will say this token looks fantastic. I'm a fan of it, but why is it not a promo on the outside of the packs? Why is it not you open the tin up, you get a promo, one of the like Stardust or whatever, not Stardust, that was last year, but whatever. Like, um, which ones did we pick this year? I, I threw away the thing. SDK Blue Eyes. SDK Blue Eyes and a token. Why were that not a promo pack? Why is this in my secret rare slot inside of a pack? That is absolutely criminal. I am definitely not a fan of that. A lot of these things are, I mean, there's a lot of great cards in these sets. This is something you should not do. Tokens shouldn't be in packs. I know they've been in packs. I think it may be in. Duelist pack, they didn't have tokens, but they had those like checklists, but those were kind of just extra cards. This is not an extra card. This is a an addition. This is in replace replacing your secret rare so that's kind of brutal black wing dragon that's really cool but yeah i'm not a huge fan of that i don't like that you're hoping for a secret oh i hopefully i get that dark magician girl alternate art konami's like actually you're gonna get a kaiba token sure the kaiba token's cool but that should be on the outs that should be a promo card you get in every tin every single time maybe you could have a yugi kaiba whatever but there should it shouldn't be in the pack that's just crazy that is just crazy. More filler for the 10s is not what they need because they have enough filler already. UFO Light, we have Extinguish. 
the Chimera, the King of Phantom Beast, Secret Rare, and Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon QCR is very nice as well. All right. Two packs left in this opening. Make, sh make sure to let me know in the comments what you guys think about these tins. I think there's definitely th some things that you can complain about that are a little bit like, like just baffling. You're like, why? Like, why is Dark Magician Girl alternate art not a QCR? I'm sure there's a lot of other ones. That's just the one that I kind of know. But like, I'm sure there's a lot of others and it's like, those should probably be QCRs, but they're not. Um, why is a token in my secret slot? Why are there so many secrets in general to make it so hard to pull the ones I want? There's an Arios, the Labyrinth Butler. It's a good preprint. They use a pretty good card. Tomb Kingdom. We're pulling crazy. This is a really nice one. This is also one on the tin, so I would have thought it was a promo. I'm okay with it being pullable on some of the big ones because you want to keep the packs like, you know, a reason to open them. But you got to really be careful about what you're doing and like how much you're really pumping these packs up with just extra cards that don't need to be there they could be promos they could be a lower rarity etc etc because i think the ratio is you get like it's like 2.7 secrets per case so you don't need like you open 12 tens you don't even get three secrets so you might need more than a case to get your full play set which kind of sucks uh ice jade we have the souring scheduling that's what i saw that somewhere i, I didn't check them out though but i'm pretty sure it's, i think it was house of champs um cornfield codal okay ultra King Sarcophagus, another nice card from, was that from Age of Overlord? And here we go, our last QCR of the day. Okay, Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. Okay, that is a way to end. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And let me know in the comments, how do you feel about these tins? We will be opening more in the next few days. So if you're excited to see that, make sure you guys subscribe here. We're almost at 250K, like really, really close. We're also gonna be doing more whatnot on Thursday. So I hope to see you guys there. Use that link and get $15 free credit if you haven't already. I'll see you guys then. Shout out to Tone Show, Ernesto Deanda, America Deutscher, Brandon Cheney, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.